What's up everyone, it's me, Phantom Lazuli, and welcome back to another Steven Universe Theory video. I would like to apologize for there not being a theory video put out in the last week. I went out of town and I had some other bismuth to attend to. Okay, I'm sorry, I honestly couldn't help myself. And again, I apologize for there not being a theory this past week, but that's why we're here today. For today, we are going to be discussing if Bismuth has a summitable weapon. This was a question that ran across my mind while watching the half hour special that Bismuth was featured in. And while some of you might be saying that Bismuth used a hammerhead during training against the Crystal Gems, but of course, by closer ex examination, this is just a, sort a type of shape shifting. We see Amethyst do this sort of thing all the time where she shape shifts one part of her body into something completely random. And we've even seen Steven do it occasionally with the cat fingers. Now, this even raises the question further. Does Bismuth have a weapon that can be summoned from her gemstone? Well, as I theorize, no. And here's why. It is also revealed during the half hour special that Bismuths on Homeworld were made for the purpose of construction. And if a gem is built for this purpose, I don't see a reason why they would be designed to have a weapon. Because that would not fit their purpose. Especially when they have shape-shifting, as Business herself displays during the episode, that they could use to their advantage by shape-shifting parts of their bodies into the tools that they would need. I don't see how having some sort of weapon would fit the purpose of construction. It would seem that the only gems that were designed to have a weapon by Homeworld were our court soldiers. But then, again, Pearl, who is basically some sort of accessory, is, has the ability to summon a gem weapon from her gemstone. And why is this? Well, it may be that Bismuth has the ability to summon a gem weapon, but has never needed to, because we see from same old world when proofing Lapis, and when fighting the Crystal Gems, that she's able to fight just fine without one. Her shape-shifting gives her the ability of summoning multiple types of weapons, hammerheads and or scythe blades. Anyways guys, that's all I've got for this Steven Universe Theory video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know how much you enjoyed it in the comment section down below, and if you think I'm wrong, you can also go there and tell me what you thought there. And if you're new here, maybe even subscribe. Anyways guys, while you're in the comment section, let me know what you guys thought about Bismuth. I personally loved her, and this the Bismuth half hour special may be one of my favorite, no hands down it is one of my favorite episodes of the entire series. It's probably in the top 10 favorite episodes that I, you know, my top 10 favorite episodes of Steven Universe. It's, oh my god, that episode, that title card though, oh man. Anyways, I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time. So anyways, as always, I've been your host, Phantom Lazuli, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!